Hey friends, Robert Harris, your lender for life. And in this short video, I'm going to explain the different options for closing costs associated with purchasing a home. So one of the first ones, which most of my buyers love is getting the seller to pay the closing cost. And the example would be is that let's say it's a $200,000 home. You're going to go ahead and make that offer of 200,000, but you're going to ask the seller to credit you $5,000 towards your closing costs. So that is one way of going about it. Assuming that the seller is going to contribute that 5,000, then great. That'll help offset those closing costs. If they're not willing to do that though, we have another choice. You can do what's called a lender credit. So let's say that you qualify for a 4% interest rate. At that 4% interest rate, there's no points associated with it, but then you're also not getting a credit. Well, you might choose to take, let's say a 4.5% interest rate. And so the lender is going to make more money on you and your loan over the long term. So they're going to give you money up front, which you can use towards your closing costs. So let's say that half a point credits you $4,000 towards your closing costs. A lot of people might want to go that route because you don't have the cash to come out of pocket for the transaction. Third way is going to be you. It's going to be strictly on you. Now, if you're in a multiple offer situation where you're competing with other people who are trying to buy the same house, you want to put your best foot forward. So you want to give that list price, assuming that you feel the value is there and not ask for any closing costs whatsoever. This way, the seller is going to net more money and you will hopefully get under contract on that home and beat out the competing offers. If you have any questions about closing costs and how it works for a home purchase, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to email, call, or visit the website for more information.